people everywhere. Today you will hear a word from heaven that will change the course of your life. I'm believing that as we get into the word of the Lord today, the word will be taught and preached with clarity. It will bring balance and direction and it will lift your faith up to believe in the things of God. We believe that as you keep listening, the power of God will come upon you and meet your need. Welcome to the Hour of Solution. We bind all hindering spirits, every agent of darkness we are rescued in Jesus' name. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you Father, there is oil abundant. Thank you there will be the ministry of grace and the ministry of power. Thank you that people will be saved, healed, and delivered by your power. Lord, I give the Holy Spirit charge. The great Holy Spirit is commander of this atmosphere. Let him be governor and ruler of all things. Let him be governor of our attitudes. Let him be governor of our minds. Regulate minds that must be regulated. Bind up the evil one bind up mind controlling agents thou holy spirit of the sovereign lord let your anointing captivate us we are yours now and forever let the rule of god come let the kingdom of god come let the manifestation of the kingdom come in jesus powerful name hallelujah take your blessed seat and open your bible we're going to go into our teaching right away God is never short of men. God is never short of women. God will be never short of anything. Your character can dismiss you from God's assignment. Your attitude can dismiss you from God's assignment. What you do in your heart that others don't see can dismiss you from God's assignment. Yeah, we are still dealing with the work of the Holy Spirit. But character and conduct is everything to the Holy Spirit. There was a time that Ananias and Sapphira came up with a plan. Nobody saw them. No one saw when they sold their produce. But there is a danger in a month like this when God is spoken about the supernatural work of the Holy Ghost with the overshadowing presence for you to continue to walk in the flesh and exhibit character traits that are dramatically opposed to yieldedness to the Spirit. It means that you resent God and you oppose the wind of God. When they saw their property, nobody saw them. But Almighty God saw their character. There were whiners and complainers in the church. They were jealous of other people's conduct. They were liars by decree. No one saw that. They saw them earlier as notable citizens of the kingdom. I'm preaching. But when there is an overshadowing, towering presence of the Spirit, be very careful. It was Uzzah who went and touched a sacred thing he was not supposed to touch. Because of the overshadowing presence of God upon the ark. And by that God struck him dead. And fear came upon David. And David from that day according to the Bible feared God. God made him understand I could be your friend but I could strike you. Be very careful of the presence of God. What's about that? Be very careful of the vessels of God. Some of you have made yourself agents of harassment to impede an upward climb. I sentence you by fire. You will not rise. If you will not lift the hands 
that bring you victory in your valley you won't climb up a hill but the church of jesus is marching forward Amen. you can look any way you like i'm going to preach i said the church of jesus is marching forward Amen. now you better get involved with the church the church globally is moving forward does it seem to you that jesus ever started anything and failed when i'm dead and gone the church of god will continue i am less important when it comes to my human contribution to god as it is to my yieldedness to the power of the spirit to the building of the church because by my humanness i can impede what god wants to do i can stop stifle harass what god wants to do but in a month of supernatural power it will be very dangerous to have an Ananas and Sapphira heart. It will be very dangerous like user to try in self-effort to touch the holy thing. May God show us great mercy. I know that there are people all across the world. They are teaching a false doctrine saying that this is the age of grace. Grace commands us to have more yieldedness to God than it is the law. The law came to show us grace. The law showed us our incapabilities. Grace came to enable us to fulfill the law. Don't get it twisted. There are those who take in only two. The God of the, the, God of the New Testament. They have no dealings with the God of the Old. Paul says all scripture, meaning old and new. They are inspired by God. They are God breathed. Ezekiel the 37 chapter. The first 14 verses. Tells us that when God's overshadowing presence come upon you. Every dry bone, every dry spell, every dry life can come alive. It says the hand of the Lord was upon me. Oh, beloved, that the hand of God also came upon us and carried me out in the spirit and set me down in the midst of a valley. You think that God would have set him down upon the red carpet, but God set him down in the valley just like Jesus was driven into the wilderness by the Holy Ghost. The valley, the wildernesses are not good places uh, scripture wise. Because a valley leave, leaves you at a disadvantaged position. For enemies who are on a hilly top mountain to see where you are and easily make you a prey and a target. But the Bible says that the spirit carried him and set him in the midst of the valley. And it was full of bones. And caused me to pass by them run about. And behold there were many in the open valley. There were how, how many? That means it's not only your finances. It could be your health. If it's not your health. It could be some spouse that is aching you. Amen. Amen. It could be a World War chart. That is giving you sleepless night. If it's not it. It could be a government. That does not honor God. If it's not it. It could be somebody. Who is untoward in the things of God. But whatever it is, I want you to understand that God is a God of order. And every and any disorderliness that confront our lives will be invaded by heaven's glory. This is a month of the supernatural. It's a month of encounter of the presence of God. Glory be to God in the highest. Says, behold, there was very many in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry. When your life is dry, it needs the great Holy Spirit. The overshadowing work of the Spirit. You don't sit home. You come to church. Praise God. Hallelujah. And whilst you are at it, you come early. Because you have a date with the presence of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Hallelujah. And you honor God in his presence. Say hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
and said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? Can these bones live? The world is asking the church the question. Can you live with that your God? Can you live with that your so-called found Jesus? Can your life be any more meaningful? Oh yes, it can. But God knows. I said God knows. Can these bones live? And I answered, Oh Lord, thou knowest. Again, yeah, he said unto me, Prophesy unto these bones. And say unto them, O ye dry bones, Hear the word of the Lord. You must also hear the word of the Lord. From this moment forward, under the cloud of God by the mantles of our fathers, whom which we have come under, the hand of power and of the miraculous. May every dead thing in your life receive sustenance by the power of God. May the oil of gladness invade your territory. May fear, darkness, and gloom dissipate. And may the light of God break into your darkness. May the supreme hand of God command good towards you. By the hand of the great God, may every dry place become a watery place. May desert places blossom out of your lives. May, re may you receive an encounter you have never received from God. By the hand of the Lord, we speak, yea, yea, the word of the Lord also to you. That you shall rise and not fail. You shall become, praise God, what God says you shall become. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go to verse number four again. Hallelujah. Again, he said to me, prophesy unto these bones. These were lifeless bones. But when the supernatural power of the Holy Ghost came upon lifeless things in our lives, there is given from heaven an audacity for that thing to obey the command of God. I remember vividly in the Bible that Lazarus was dead. And the Bible says that Jesus attended to something and came on the fourth day. Now according to rabbinical teaching, a person was certified truly dead on the fourth day. That he will be the Lord of the death, of the grave, and of the living. He waited to the fourth day and he came. And when he came, he that was dead was spoken to. And when he spoke, the manifestation of God's power went into the crevices of the dungeon of the dead and called Lazarus' name. See, he called him Lazarus, come forth. But the man was dead. Everybody knew he was dead. God called it the things that be not as though they are. And when he called his name Lazarus, in the region of the dead responded. Lazarus never said yes Lord he never said a word but in the region of the dead he responded to the cry of the Messiah for he had called him by name had he said just said arise every dead person in that area would have arisen but he called him by name Lazarus arise and he that was dead became alive but he was bound in grave clothes and he said untie him loose him that is that several of you you've come back into your prime but there is something tying you by the divine commission of heaven let the power that brought you alive let that same power untie you in jesus name whatever it is in your bloodline that seems to have hovered over your head to make you incapable of becoming whereas god is committed life to your care you're walking like a dead person there is life in you but you're not making steps by the decree of heaven i proclaim god's word such as was proclaimed by the great prophets of old arise and take your liberty and let every and anything that tie you let it now be removed from your neck by the power of the mighty god again he said to me prophesy unto these bones now why would he say to him mortal man prophesy couldn't god himself have done something to the dry bones why is there the need for God to implore mortal man the Bible says whom have we in heaven but thee but the earth you have committed to the care of the sons of men 
any spirit that operates in the earth without man is operating illegally Jesus could have come right from glory but he had to come through a human that is why demons hovering upon the earth are illegally operating so they must find a tree somebody a thing to get inside so they may find a home they are homeless spe species they are homeless don't give them a home let them be tortured by their homelessness but the Holy Ghost of God that great gentle spirit of God even he does not force himself on man but he comes in as man yields to him and opens the corridor of your heart. Oh, praise God forevermore. Hallelujah. So do not allow a homeless spirit to attack you and make you restless. Prophesy to these boats and say to them, Oh, ye dry boats, hear the word of the Lord. Not hear my feelings. It's not about your feeling. Not about feely feely. Not about my feely got hurt. I'm not trying to hurt it. I'm trying to crucify it. Amen. Praise God. Let the church say amen. I'm going to preach anyhow. Amen. Oh ye bones. Hear the word of God. By the way it's not hear the word of my uncle. Nor my mama. Nor my papa. Hear the word of God. Verse number 5. I'm going says. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones. Now who is speaking? Ezekiel. Who is he speaking by? The spirit of the living God. Why is he speaking by the spirit of the living God? He has been given authority. You can't operate in God's power unless you've been given authority. John 1 and 12. You can never operate God's power without being under authority. He says, that's here the Lord God to these bones. Behold, I will cause breath, rock, the wind of God, to enter into you and you shall live. Say, I shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you and bring up flesh upon you and cover your skins and put breath in you and you shall live. And you shall know that I am the Lord. Look, let me tell you, unless there is a performance of the workings of God, the world is just going to think that we just congregate for foolishness. But there is power in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, can the dead be raised? Yes, the dead can be raised. Can death be wiped out? Yes, death can be wiped out. Can useless life be made into useful life? Yes, it can by the power of God. Can people that are imprisoned by the enemy, can they be loosed by the power of God? Yes, they can be loosed by the power of God. We are not serving a dead God, nor dead religion. We are serving what we have experienced. Some of us were told we will never rise to become anything. But by the grace of God, who overlooked the words of men, the words of women, and lifted us by the power of the blood, we are who we are by the grace of God. You can shout and rain on my parade. I know what Jesus has done for me. Hallelujah. The Pharisees came around just like there are some people who see fire in church. They came around and they saw a man who was blind from birth, healed. They had a problem with him being healed. When a miracle happened, people would try to investigate how did it happen instead of giving glory to God. When in Acts the third chapter, the beggarly man the star sat right by the temple. People kept passing him. The day God visits you, as he's visiting you now. That the day God visits you. Those who are pass you by. This time you are going to be skipping and hipping. And you are going to be joyfully entering the house of God. The day of your visitation shall come. So, so I prophesied as I was commanded. Verse 7. I prophesied. There was a noise. Say there was a noise. Say there was a noise. Don't be satisfied with the noise. I said don't be satisfied with the noise. Come on. Don't be satisfied with the noise. Hallelujah. In Acts the second chapter the Bible says there was a noise. But see they were not satisfied with the noise. There was a descent of fire.
Praise God. People are sometimes satisfied with noise. Noise by itself speaks the existence of life. But the existence of life has to procreate or bring about something. The Bible says that there was a noise. So God will let the enemy know that though it be dead, yet there is a noise means yet it can come alive. There was a noise. And then there was a shaking. I said there was a shaking. May God punish the devil. May he shake any and everything that concerns your life and mine. Praise God. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. And the bones came together. I don't know how bones come together. But by the supernatural force of God. Bones come together by vision. Bone to bone. Not missing a place. In other words. That the bone that joined the knee. Did not all of a sudden jump to the, to the shoulder. They were perfectly and orderly co-joined by the supernatural working of God. When God visits you, He's not going to misplace your blessing. God is going to connect your blessings in the right places. Hallelujah! And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, and there was no breath in them. <laughs> there was a noise, there was a shaking, there was no breath in them. Then said he to me, this time God is depending still on him. Prophesy. Prophesy to the wind. Speak to the winds that gather momentum of heaven. Prophesy. Prophesy to the wind. Prophesy, son of man. And say to the wind, that say the name of the living God. Come from the four winds. La Lucy Capantoli. Grato mania. Come from the four winds. Hallelujah. Oh breath. And breathe upon thee slain. That they may live. And so I prophesied as I was commanded. And the breath came into them. And they lived and stood up to their feet. An exceeding what? Now before they were a lifeless bunch of bones in the valley. But there was an exceeding army out of the bones. This was a picture of Israel. Israel found themselves as stripped, bony, helpless, and without any, any form of direction. And God is revealing to Ezekiel that God could raise an army out of a valley. God could birth a people out of nothing. Praise God. The Lord God sent me this day to come tell you, out of that lifeless place shall come life. He said to me, son of man, these are the whole house of Israel. Yeah. Behold, they say our bones are dried. Our hope is lost. And we are cut off of our parts. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus saith the Lord. Behold, my people, I'll open your graves. La Rusa Katanama. And cause you to come out of your graves. And bring you into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord. When I have opened your graves, oh my people, and brought you out of your graves, can you be a covenant people and be engraved? Yes, it is possible. Can you be a covenant child and be enslaved? Yes, it is possible. Can you be a covenant child and feel pitiful of yourself? Yes, it's possible. But that's here the living God. You cannot and must not allow the words of this world to cocoon you into what I said you are not. Praise God. Hallelujah. But lift your voice above a whisper and praise me, see your God, that I may come into your tent and bless you. Hallelujah. Verse 14 says, And shall put my spirit in you, and you shall live. You shall what? Say, I shall live. Say it loud. I shall live. Oh, glory be to God. Say, I shall live. Say, I shall live. Any sentence of death, be it natural or spiritual, from whence it came from, amen, amen. loses his grip. Yes, as can mortal man speak, didn't God use Ezekiel? Yes. Do you know the CV of Ezekiel? Yes. Didn't God use Amos? Yes. 
Do you know the CV of Amos? God can use Jacob Esaki. Praise God. Hallelujah. People say, well, that's Old Testament. Well, we are standing in the threshold of power now. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Our God is not the God of Abraham alone, but the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the God and Father of the church. And I'm a member of the church. I've been called into Ephesians 4, 11, and 12 ministry. Hallelujah. Therefore declare I the words of God. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue rallying against you shall fail. By the power of God. Any voice of anarchy, we attack them by the power of God. And we cut them from their roots. They shall not survive. They shall not stand. That glory and honor and power shall be unto our God. Say hallelujah. He says, I shall put my spirit in you. And you shall live. And I shall place you in your own land. And you shall know I the Lord have spoken. And I shall perform it. Say perform it. That's where we were. The Lord shall perform it. The God of performance. Hallelujah. God shall perform it. God's about to perform it. Amen. Praise God. I'd rather have hope than become hopeless. Somebody said, but you keep saying that God shall, God shall, God shall. And I'm not seeing it yet. I'm glad you put a comma. In case you put a full stop, just put a little mark there. Make it into a comma. Because God is not finished addressing your situation. He, the Holy God of Israel, who took my life from a street preacher into where I am, the same God shall do the same for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. God takes the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. There are no useless people in the army of the Lord. Everyone is important in the eyes of Jehovah. And we, the people of Zion, shall arise by the power of God. Say yes, yes, yes. Wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, unfruitfulness yields its way to fruitfulness. The first man, Adam, and his wife Eve, or Awa, Genesis 3 and 30, 21, were given the best designer clothes by heaven. Glory, hallelujah. Yeah, you think you're, you're all that in the back of chips. When God himself designs an outfit and gives it to you. <laughs> Amen. You're wearing supernatural clothing. Yes, sir. Amen. That thing you've been wearing over time, either your body enlarges or you. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> All right. And says, and, <laughs> and Adam also unto his wife, did the Lord make coats of skin? God himself sat down, measured Adam, measured Mrs. Adam, and God made sure that everything was perfect. Exactly. Tell it me. Amen. This was when the glory cloud, the Shekinah, was in the Garden of Eden, where the presence of God is. You shall never go naked. Praise God. The Lord shall cover you. The Lord shall cover you. I said the Lord, hey, the Lord shall cover you. He made coats of skin and he clothed them. Later on, when man had fallen, man went and sowed figs, leaves, leaves. When heaven gives you a garment, it is a better garment. But when you lose your place of the glory, you are going to bow down to a second cycle entity that you shall have dominance over. But when there is a glory of God, the glory shall cover you. When you go this way and that way, the enemy shall not know the way you go. This has been the television broadcast series of the Fresh Fire Worldwide Ministries. Fresh Fire Worldwide Ministries, bringing salvation, healing, and deliverance. We are happy you listen to the broadcast and we want to give you an opportunity if you have not made Jesus Christ your Savior and Lord as at yet. We believe that by receiving the person of Jesus into your life, your life will be made anew. 
The Bible tells us in John's Gospel that if we believe on him, he will give us the right or the power to become children of God. Your life will take a different turn, a better turn. Now simply pray after me, Lord Jesus, I know I'm a sinner and need your forgiveness. Forgive me of all my sins and wash me in your precious blood. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and he came to die for my sins. Friends, if you pray that simple prayer under the basis and the authority of God's word, your spirit has been reborn. Find a Bible-believing church that preaches and teaches the word of the Lord without any fear and grow in it. Or else, just come right by our, any of our services and you'll be greatly blessed. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name.